I am your hair loss hero. My name is Nick Shell. Thank you for subscribing. I noticed that you did. In this video, we are now a week shy of it being how many months since I did a zero guard bus cut? Let's see. It was April 30th. Yeah, so like a week shy of it being two whole months since I did a zero guard buzz cut. And I just came back from family vacation in Sacramento and realized I think it is time to pull out this, my favorite hair product of all time, which is like $6, like anywhere. <laughs> uh, cream of nature with argan oil from Morocco. And no, they're not endorsing me. I wish they would, so I'd have a lifetime supply of this. Why? Because, oh, that smells awesome and it works best for me. So what I wanna do is I want to, in real time, for the first time uh, since, in many months, I, see, I haven't used pomade in months. Uh, I shaved my head down to a zero guard. It was the end of February, so you know, here we are in June, so it's been at least four months since I've had enough hair to do anything with. And so uh, the time has come now where I will try this out and see if it makes a difference. I did just get out of the shower. Let me just make sure I got the moisture out of there. There we go. And kind of what I'm thinking about is, and by the way, you can see the diffuse thinning there. But what I'm thinking is, and as I'm still in this awkward transition, what I want to do is to just kind of make the most of it. If it looks a little bit like a porcupine, so be it. As B.B. Rexa would say, meant to be, it's meant to be, it's meant to be, with Florida Georgia Line. So here we go, I'm going to try this out, and I guess I owe it to you uh, to do a little spin around. There you go, give a little bit of, I'm showing you the worst possible angle so that you can know what I'm doing, because it, it, it's inevitable that people will watch my channel and say, why, how dare you, Nick? How dare you do a hair loss channel when you have that much hair at age 37? How dare you? You should be ashamed for misleading people. So I like to, and by the way, what's funny is tomorrow, I'll be shooting two videos. One will be, and they're both gonna be outside in the parking lot at work. One will be my eighth week at my new job and eight weeks after doing the zero guard buzz cut. The other one will be a year and a half after using rosemary oil for hair loss, which I keep in this drawer right here. I keep my stash here of my rosemary oil. And what's funny is it's gonna be shot outside in the sunlight and uh, people are going in that video say how bad my hair looks. In this video, people are more likely to say, that's kind of ironic that you have a hair loss channel because you, yes, you have a little bit of thinning going on up here, but really, you got a lot of hair for a guy that's 37. So I'm very aware of that paradox and that how lighting has everything to do with how I'm perceived in these videos. All right, let's get to it. Perfect edges. This is how I do it. I don't, I don't feel like I need a whole lot. If that's the, what do they say, the size of a pea. So, uh, man, that smells awesome. Yeah, all right. So what I'm going to go for is I'm just trying to see if I can create any volume. I mean, ultimately, I guess in the likeness of it being spiked, but can I, I mean, again, I, I haven't rehearsed this, so I don't know what this is gonna look like. Basically, I'm just getting it in there, rubbing my fingers in, seeing if I can create any sense at all of a hairstyle on purpose beyond just the fact that I'm growing, awkwardly growing out a zero guard buzz cut have a Norwood two and a half, and have diffuse thinning on top. So I'll remind everybody, once my hair gets longer, we'll, people will forget how bad it actually is, but for right now, it's more evident. So here we go, so there, there, there you go. I'll go ahead and turn around. It may not really have done too much, but I figure if, if I can give it a little bit of an edge with that, and my thing is right here, I don't want to spike that up because that's where the thinning's most obvious. Not only because of what part of my head it is, but just because it will uh, draw negative attention. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of push this in a little bit, push this up a little bit, make sure that the awkward, I think the most awkward part of my hair right now is actually the sides. There's just a lot of volume, or not volume, but just it just goes straight out. And I'm having to do that 
but there's not quite enough right here to do much with. But there we go. It, as they say in France, elle est... No, not a complete. What is that one? Oh, elle est finie. It is finished in French. All right. There we go. I've done it. Thank you for watching my video. Thank you for subscribing to my video. This is this awkward transition, leaving a zero guard buzz cut, going into a normal hairstyle in which most people will start getting angry with me for having a channel about hair loss because that's how unnoticeable my hair loss will be when we just add about another inch here on top. This is the end of June, so again, in August, people will be angry with me for having this channel. Until then, never forget this video. Never forget when you could see that. And don't forget tomorrow's videos. My balding is going to be that much more obvious as I shoot outside. If you want to stay tuned for my next video, I will... I wish there was a better word for stupidly, because I do have an English degree. I could think of better words, but I'm going to stupidly use my Remington Shortcut Pro to shave off this autumn, autumn, awesome mighty beard, which is about two weeks old. I'm going to stupidly use this uh, to shave it off, and then I'll follow up with actually the Remington, whatever this is. And no, I'm not being sponsored by Remington. I wouldn't mind that at all. I was just trying to see what the model was of this. But yeah, it's like a $30 Remington, nothing, nothing special. So I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna shave off my beard, and it's always fun to watch those videos uh, because you get to see the process of the transformation. Let me stop the video right here so that I can start the next one. Be sure to check it out.